If you plan to level in TBC, there's gonna be different ways you can do this. In this guide, I'm going to talk about questing in Outland, dungeon farming in Outland, but also classic dungeons we can do to level up. To start questing or dungeons in Outland, there are some mandatory stuff we have to do. Before you go into the dark portal, you can pick up a quest that tells you to simply go through the dark portal. Once you are through the dark portal, go down the stairs and talk to the NPC for Horde or Alliance. Next, you will have to go to the Flightmaster nearby. Hand in the quest at the Flightmaster. Next, you will have to accept the quest and fly to either Thralmor or Honorhold. By doing this quest, you will save a lot of time where you don't have to use your ground mount to ride all the way to Honorhold or Thralmor. Now you have unlocked a few different things for Outland, so we can start questing but we could also start to do dungeons. There's of course gonna be the traditional way, so sticking to the city that you just landed in and doing the quest there. But there's also gonna be other ways, so we have two other camps for Horde and Alliance and I recommend that you might actually go there. The reason for this is because most of the casual players will just stick to the first city, while if you go for the second one, there will be less competition. And that way, questing is gonna be a lot easier. At the same time, you can also go to Sankyamarsh, because the first camps actually have quests for you. If you're 61, you could get more quests, but starting here at 60 is definitely not gonna be bad. I recommend that you pick up all quests, so those in Cenarion, but also those at the Horde and the Alliance-specific cities. The next thing in this guide is gonna be dungeons we can do in TBC. The first dungeons is gonna be Ramparts and Blood Burns in Hellfire. At Hellfire Citadel, we have a summoning stone, and the dungeon you can see to the left is actually Ramparts. On top of the Citadel, we have Blood Burns, which you can see right here. The monsters you can find in Hellfire Ramparts are 60 to 61, while the bosses is gonna be level 62. In Blood Burns, it's gonna be 61 to 62 for the normal leads, and the bosses 63. So doing Ramparts might be the best, because you have higher hit chance. If you plan to dungeon farm on a PvP server, I've actually decided to include Sankamarsh as well. The reason for this is because it might be easier for you to reset the dungeons. The first option you have is gonna be Slave Pants, and the average level is 62, while the bosses is 64. The last option is gonna be Underbug, but in here the average level is 63, while the bosses is actually 65. Not something I would recommend, but it's definitely an option. The last thing in this guide is gonna be classic dungeons that you can do from like 60 to 62. The downside of doing these, however, is gonna be the fact that we get no reputation with any of the TBC factions. The good thing is for sure that we can start practicing in classic already and optimizing our route. Farming CG might actually also be an option for mages, it depends if they decide to nerf the experience. If you found this guide useful, then I recommend that you actually watch my 60 to 70 dungeon leveling guide. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.